sad stuff. Sulat is officially going to be closing their physical shop. This sucks. Not just because those were my root stomping grounds as a kendama player. You know, I gifted Su a kendama, Shin Fuji, 10 years ago as he was opening up his photo studio. He was a photographer, taking pictures and shit, doing some graphic design for people as well. And for his shop, for his opening, I was like, here's a kendama. If you want me to teach you some tricks, I will gladly do so. But if you're not down with that, you know, you could just have a kendama, just like put it on the shelf. It's kind of a cool aesthetic. I think it was like within the month. He's like, oh, this is pretty cool. We started kendama hangouts. Every Tuesday night, we would do jams. That was the birth of the kendama boo. Sulab has closed once before. There was two Sulab shops. There was one original one. They had to close down once. They were not a shop, just an online store for, I believe, a year, and then came back to this location that they're at now. This comes because this physical store was just a lot for Sue and Ayaka to handle, him and his wife. And they, they saw that it's been kind of wearing them out. But of course, you know, they still have players that they have sponsored and they need to support and they still have plenty of players who want to get their hands on their kendamas and they still, of course, have the passion for kendama, but their, their road path in life is kind of changed. So they've decided to close the store down, sadly. But as, as you see in the post, it, it does say online store only continues on from that Friday on. Sulab will still be there, still making posts, still making dope ass damas that everybody wants. They just, there just won't be a store that you can come and visit when you come and visit me. If any one of you were coming to Sulab, I would encourage you, hit me up, DM me, because I'll t make the time to hang out. Or, hey, fucking take you around town if you have the time, give you a tour, local tour, which I'll still do if you come to Japan, but now Sulab ain't gonna be a part of it. So now I knew about it, I think probably like a month ago, Sue broke the news to me, but to see it in text, this really sucks because everyone who's had plans to do the Kenjama journey back to the motherland to come visit Japan, if it's gonna be for KWC, maybe you wouldn't have a chance, but if you're coming for Catch and Flow, you're in Tokyo and the Kanto area, you definitely have to come. Hit up Sue Lab, you hit up the Decade Shop, you hit up Spin Gear in Akihabara, Mumu Coffee, you hit those spots, but now one's going. And actually, what, fuck, when was Catch and Flow? December 11th. Sue Lab is officially closing 12th. You know what that means. Sue Lab always has their anniversary. Their anniversary is December, within December. I forget what it is, maybe like the second week or something. But traditionally, their anniversary party was always after Catch and Flow. It's like Saturday's Catch and Flow, guess what, Sunday night? is Sulab Get Nuts anniversary party. And of course, you know, he'd always be inviting all the pros and they would come up, blast music, get rowdy. Everyone's there because everyone wants to hang out with the pros and stuff after Catch and Flow. Sad, but also excited because this is gonna be the last fucking hurrah for the physical Sulab location. If you were on the fence, possibly, who knows about catch coming to Catch and Flow? Just do it! Don't let your dreams be dreams. Another question possibly some people have, Japan has opened up for independent travelers to come to Japan. So come the fuck over to Japan for catch and flow, but not only for catch and flow, for the final send off for Sulab. Cause everyone's gonna be there. 